Storefront UI is available for both Vue and React. In this video, we're going to be installing it into a Nuxt application. So let's copy the Nuxy init command and paste it in our terminal. After that runs, we can open it up in VS Code. Now let's run yarn and yarn dev. Yarn will install our dependencies and yarn dev will run the development server. Now we can open it up on localhost 3000 and we have ourselves a working Nuxt application. Let's click on install for Vue and we are using yarn so we'll copy this yarn add command which will add Tailwind CSS and the components from the storefront UI library to our project. While that's running, we can add our module to the Nux config, which for now just consists of the Tailwind module. Then we can create a tailwind.config.ts and simply copy paste our way to success by copying the contents from documentation. And now we have set up everything we need in order to use storefront UI. So let's test it out by copying this template in app.view so that we are using a button and let's see if that works. So now we should see a button from storefront UI and we do. Now that we've successfully installed storefront UI 2, let's take a look at what this library has to offer. We'll start with customization. Let's open up customization and see what's there. So we have theming. Theming shows us all of the default colors for the library and also shows us how to overwrite them. We can overwrite them using CSS variables. We can also use CSS classes. And also we can just update everything in the Tailwind config. So let's try that real quick. I will copy this extension and I will overwrite the primary colors for the application. We should see it reload and then the theme will be adjusted and now we have a blue theme. So it can be as easy as that to adjust things but you also have fine grained ability to adjust things as you need, where you need. We've already seen how to customize the theming, but there are also times you'll want to customize individual components. One easy way to do that is to use the exclamation point, which is the important modifier. That will override whatever class you are setting. Another important thing to note is that every base component comes with the source code in the documentation, and you are free to copy this source code and overwrite the entire component within your application. Another very important aspect of customization is outlining, and this is very important for accessibility. Let me show you what I mean. Here, I'm inside of an application, and if I use my tab, I can focus on different buttons using my keyboard. And this is used a lot for accessibility. Let's say I don't like how that purple looks. It's not very obvious with my buttons because now my buttons are blue instead of green. So there, it doesn't contrast enough. I can go in and I can set the theme of my outline very easily by extending the Tailwind config. And now when I go back to my application, we'll let it reload, you'll see that now we have a nice pink and it's much easier to see. Typography allows us to turn this into this and we can easily accomplish this using the plugin for typography from Storefront UI. Add it with your favorite package manager, add the plugin to your Tailwind config and you're ready to go. And then you can simply use them in your application like so. By the way, if you're a designer type, you can check out our Figma file, which has a picture perfect representation of all of our components, and you can build upon it with your own design. Now let's take a look at our base components. We have many components to choose from, and the list will only grow in the future. You can mix and match them as you wish to build larger blocks. Let's drill in and take a look at one of these components. Notice you can import the component, and just use it as it is and just make slight little tweaks if you need to. And you can do that over here with the code. And notice we're just importing it like so. But also you have complete control. You can grab the source code as I mentioned before and override it in your application. So you have 100% control to do whatever you want with these components, but you don't have to write all of this boilerplate. Base components are great, but blocks are my personal favorite part of Storefront UI. Every e-commerce site is going to need a lot of the same things, so the team has used those base components to create these larger blocks that you can easily copy and paste into your project. Of course, like everything else, you're free to do whatever you want with those blocks and you can customize them as you see fit. So let's add this product card, for example, to our application. I'll add a components directory 
and then add a product card. And I can simply paste in that product card. For now, I don't need this asset and I can remove it from the source here. And then I can add that product card into my app.view just like that. And so now let's take a look and we should have a product card. I'm zoomed in quite a bit. So now we have a product card that we can use in our application with very little effort and we can tweak it until our heart is content. Now let's see how easy it can be to get up and running using one of these product cards. I've fetched the data from an external API, we're using a V4 and I'm passing the product as a prop. Now in the product card, let's accept that product as a prop. We'll ignore the types for now and then we'll go ahead and set this to a variable and add the product image. Lastly, we will add the product title. Now let's take a look at the cards. As you can see, the cards now have these beautiful images and unique titles. And just like that, step by step, you can add your data and then tweak the cards to your liking. And now we have really accelerated our UI development. Storefront UI composables are a convenient way to add dynamic functionality to your application. Let's take use disclosure as an example. If I add this composable to my application, I can easily do things like disclose text when an action takes place, for example, clicking on a button. I hope you've enjoyed getting started with Storefront UI 2. Make sure to leave it a star on GitHub. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our newsletter so you can keep up with all things new with Storefront UI 2. I'll see you in the next one. What you see is not a test, it's the storefront UI 2. Installment now, I'll show you how a did UI supposed to do.